what is the role of a project manager in schedule planning? The project manager plays a crucial role in schedule planning by ensuring that the work package is broken down into the required activities. They determine dependencies and precedence relationships, estimate activity durations, identify the critical path, resolve resource over allocations, and compress the schedule to meet project constraints. For example, in a project to develop an online banking system, the project manager would break down the tasks into activities such as coding the login feature, testing the money transfer function, and integrating security protocols. They would then sequence these activities, estimate how long each will take, and ensure that tasks like testing do not overlap with integration if they are dependent on each other. What methods can the project team use to manage their workflow? The project team can manage their workflow using either a time boxed method such as cadences or a continuous flow method. They can adopt release timeframes, plan each iteration with specific work items, prioritize tasks, estimate user stories, and decompose them into smaller tasks. For example, in an agile project for developing a CRM system, the team might plan two week sprints, time boxed, where they focus on delivering specific features such as customer profile management by breaking down the user stories into tasks like setting up the database and designing the user interface. What does a schedule management plan describe? A schedule management plan describes how project activities will be defined and progressively elaborated. It identifies the scheduling method and tool used, determines the schedule format, and establishes criteria for developing and controlling the schedule. For instance, in a software development project, the schedule management plan might specify the use of Gantt charts to visualize the timeline and identify Microsoft Project as the tool for managing and tracking the schedule. What is a project schedule model? A project schedule model is a methodology or tool used for schedule development that includes maintenance planning, status updates, and progress tracking during execution. For example, in a large-scale migration project, a project schedule model might use the critical path method, CPM, to identify key milestones and ensure that activities like data migration and system testing are on track. What are hybrid schedules and what benefits do they offer? Hybrid schedules are tailored plans that combine consistency and management oversight with flexible scheduling. This approach leads to better product quality and incremental value delivery. For example, in a hybrid project developing a new mobile app, the initial phases might follow a traditional predictive schedule to define requirements, while later phases might use agile methods to iteratively develop and test features. What are the four types of activity dependency types? The four types of activity dependencies are mandatory, discretionary, external, and internal dependencies. For instance, in a construction project, a mandatory dependency might be that the foundation must be laid before the walls are built, finished to start. An external dependency could be waiting for regulatory approval before starting construction. What are the four types of precedence relationships? The four types of precedence relationships are finish to start, FS, start to start, SS, finish to finish, FF, and start to finish, SF. For example, in software development, a finish to start FS relationship could mean that coding must be completed before testing can begin. What is analogous estimation and when is it used? Analogous estimation uses historical data from a similar activity or project to estimate duration and is often used when project information is limited. For example, if a previous project to develop a customer portal took six months, analogous estimation might suggest a similar timeline for a new but comparable portal project. What is the purpose of the critical path method, CPM? The critical path method, CPM, identifies the longest path through a project 
to determine the shortest possible project duration and the amount of flexibility in the schedule. For example, in a project to develop an e-commerce platform, the CPM might identify key activities like setting up payment gateways and ensuring they are completed on time to prevent delays in the project launch. What are the two schedule compression techniques mentioned? The two schedule compression techniques are fast tracking and crashing. Fast tracking involves performing activities in parallel, such as coding and testing simultaneously, while crashing shortens the schedule duration by adding more resources, like bringing in additional developers to accelerate feature completion. What is a schedule baseline? A schedule baseline is the finalized project schedule against which actual progress is compared during project execution with changes managed through a formal change control process. For example, if a project to launch a new software product is planned to finish in six months, this timeline becomes the baseline against which progress is measured and any delays would be managed through change control. What are special intervals and how are they used in a project schedule? Special intervals, such as blackout times or go live events, are scheduled downtimes negotiated as the project approaches release to reduce risks and ensure smooth implementation. For instance, in a major IT system upgrade, a go live weekend might be planned where all systems are brought offline for the upgrade, ensuring minimal disruption to business operations. What is adaptive scheduling and how does it differ from predictive scheduling? Adaptive scheduling allows for flexibility with time-boxed or continuous scheduling methods, focusing on incremental delivery, whereas predictive scheduling follows a fixed plan with predefined milestones. For example, in an agile project, adaptive scheduling would allow the team to adjust their plans based on feedback from each sprint, while predictive scheduling would stick to a detailed plan developed at the beginning of the project. What are lags and leads in precedence relationships? Lags and leads are adjustments made to the timing of activities in precedence relationships, allowing for flexibility in scheduling by adding or subtracting time between activities. For example, if the drying of paint lag needs two days after the walls are built, this time is added to the schedule. Conversely, a lead might involve starting the interior design before the paint is fully dry, saving time. What is a Gantt chart and how is it used in project management? A Gantt chart is a visual tool used to track the project timeline, showing the start and finish dates of activities, milestones, and their dependencies over the project's duration. For example, in a marketing campaign project, a Gantt chart might show the timeline for activities like content creation, social media scheduling, and campaign launch, helping the team track progress and ensure deadlines are met. What is the role of story points in agile scheduling? Story points are used to estimate the relative effort required to complete user stories, helping teams determine the amount of work that can be completed within a sprint. For example, a team might assign five story points to a user's story for developing a new feature indicating the complexity and effort required compared to other tasks. What is the purpose of a sprint planning meeting in Agile? A sprint planning meeting is held before each sprint to select work items from the backlog, estimate tasks, and plan the sprint's activities, ensuring alignment with the project's goals. For instance, before starting a sprint to develop a new feature for an app, the team would prioritize user stories estimate the work involved, and agree on what can be achieved in the upcoming sprint. What is the definition of done, DOD, in Agile Project Management? The definition of done, DOD, is a set of criteria that defines when a work item is considered complete, ensuring that it meets the required quality standards before being accepted. For example, in an Agile project, the duty for a user story might include successful testing, code review, and documentation, ensuring the feature is ready for release. What is the role of a hardening sprint in Agile projects? 
a hardening sprint is conducted prior to the final release to ensure that all features and functionalities are fully tested, stable, and ready for deployment. For instance, in the final sprint before launching a new software product, the team would focus on fixing bugs, optimizing performance, and ensuring that the product meets all acceptance criteria.